Hey everybody, today's video is all about whether or not you have a low cervix. The truth is, at some point during our menstrual cycle, all of us have a low cervix as our cervix does move throughout our menstrual cycle. So today I'm going to talk about how to find your cervix, what is a cervix, and what if you have a low cervix. Jumping right in, I'm going to tell you exactly what a cervix is. A cervix is a muscle that divides the vagina from the uterus. The muscle moves, it opens and shuts, it becomes soft and firm depending on where you're at in your menstrual cycle. And during pregnancy, the cervix is what dilates, allowing the baby to deliver during vaginal delivery. You might be wondering how to find your cervix. To do this, you're going to want to wash your hands and you're simply going to insert a finger into your vaginal canal. This might be uncomfortable for some people, but just know that it's totally normal to feel uncomfortable. It gets easier with time. We should all, as women, love our bodies and be comfortable with our bodies. So go ahead and relax your body, insert your finger into the vaginal canal, and keep putting it in until you feel something that feels like the tip of your nose. It is a firm tissue that is at the top of your vaginal canal and it definitely doesn't feel as soft as vaginal tissue. You'll know when it's your cervix if you feel something that is more firm and button-like. To find out whether or not you have a low cervix, you're going to repeat the same exercise, insert a finger into the vagina, and if you feel the firm tissue when you get to your first um, knuckle on your finger, then you have a low cervix. So keep in mind that your cervix does move and change throughout your menstrual cycle and when you are on your period your cervix is going to naturally be lower and it is going to have an opening to allow the blood to flow out. I do want to add that it's important to figure out whether you have a high, medium, or low cervix because that will determine which pixie cup you should use. If you have any questions on how to figure out which cervix you have, please feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to help you figure that out and find the perfect cup for you. That brings me to answering our next question, which is can you use a menstrual cup with a low cervix? The answer is yes, you can. And we've actually developed a cup specifically for a low cervix, a tilted or tipped uterus, and it is our Pixie Cup Lux. The Lux cup is more soft and it is a bit more narrow so that it doesn't give you any kind of pain when entering the vaginal canal. And like I said, it is more soft so it can give way to movement a little bit easier and it's perfect for those with a low cervix. One last thing that I want to address is just because you have a low cervix, that does not mean that you have necessarily a prolapsed uterus. If you do find that your cervix is very low or even protruding out of the vagina, please see your OBGYN or your primary care doctor um, to see if you may have a prolapsed uterus. They can help you with different exercises to rehab that. But again, if it is just up to your first knuckle, that just means you have a low cervix and there's nothing wrong with, that, wrong with that. It's completely common. And again, our Pixie Cup Lux would be the best fit for you. Reach out to us if you have any questions. We'd be happy to have you try the Lux. And if you have any other questions in regards to a low, medium, or high cervix, please drop them on our channel below and we will get back to you.